I am Grace Antor, and travel is my biggest passion. After graduating university in June 2019, I decided to pursue my dream of visiting every country in the world. I made it to country number 76 when a world pandemic hit, and I had to travel back home. I try to make the most out of the situation and explore my own backyard in my home country of Sweden. In my previous video, I arrived to the high coast of Sweden on the night train and went on a few hikes to Slottedalslevan and a lighthouse. We witnessed some amazing views before getting stuck in a rainstorm and heading back to the family cottage. We have now made it to the cottage and the rainstorm has passed so we're actually going to head out in the boat to explore uh, a nearby island. So. Let's jump into the boat. I think we need to dry it down a bit uh, because it's been raining so much, but yeah, it'll be really exciting. It's been a long, hard season. I'm feeling weary to my bones. I guess that's my reason. I pack my bags and now I'm gone so can see Mjelltön, which is the highest island in Sweden. And if you walk up here, you get to the top. And uh, this is also a small harbor where a few boats have docked. Uh, and yeah, so the highest island in Sweden. We have time here. And it's still raining, but the little rain never killed anyone. Working on my fishing skills in a little boat that I rent. At the beach there, this is a very, very rare occurrence that the reindeer come to come to the beach. So, the end of our trip, we almost sank with the boat, <laughs> but we were all alive, so that is good. And now we need to empty the boat with water. We are now back from the boat trip and when we were docking up uh, we opened up the front of the boat and the wave came in and uh, it was kind of the whole boat flooded and we had water up to our like waists in the boat and uh, I honestly thought that we were going to sink and have to swim in uh, to land uh, but we made it in and uh, everyone's safe and yeah we will definitely never forget this boat ride um, but yeah we all have to dry off now <laughs> we then had dinner with the whole family before heading out in the boat again but this time without any water inside the boat. We saw the sun start to set over the bay and just relaxed. And we got back just in time for the dessert. A lovely day is now coming to an end. We have, uh, since I last spoke to you, been out in the boat once again and we've had dinner and now we're playing cards and watching the sunset over the bay here. Sweden. 
So this morning, as you could see, we went out on the boat early in the morning to get off the nets uh, because my family had been uh, putting out nets to go fishing. We took in the nets and they are now today going to be preparing fish. And we, my mom, dad and my sister, are heading down towards Stockholm because tonight I'm taking the train back home. It's a short weekend trip for me. But on the way down to Stockholm, uh, we are visiting some more spots on the high coast. The first one is Mjella, Mjellom's bread making factory. They uh, make thin bread that's either hard or soft and uh, you can see how they make the bread in a uh, little shed. We have now made it to Rutsudam which is a nature area by the cliffs. You have the parking spot about 500 meters from this place and you walk through this lovely forest where you can uh, pick wild blueberries which is free to do here in Sweden and then uh, after 500 meters you arrive by the coast and these uh, cliffs and you can uh, grill and have your picnic and uh, yeah it's a really lovely spot to come. So just like this you find the blueberries wild here and uh, for your demonstration I'm going to show you that they are freshly out of nature. Still alive. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, during this uh, season, it's currently the end of July, uh, the blueberries come out here. Uh, so uh, yeah, just fill with them. The main highlight of the high coast is the Höga Kustenbron or Highway Coast Bridge. It is uh, inspired from the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. It was built in 1997 and it is the world's ninth longest hanging bridge as it is 1,800 meters long. It is also one of Sweden's highest building structures with a height of 180 meters. And uh, yeah, you can't come to the high coast of Sweden without driving over this magnificent structure. It was then time to head back to Stockholm, jump on the train and head back home. It sure was a jump-packed weekend, but it was truly amazing and wonderful to spend it with family. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.